We've got as many swords as we can carry. Now we need to head north, to freedom. Before Rome unleashes hell on us. Spartacus is one of these people who didn't set out to become the head of a large army that would raise a rebellion against Rome and Italy. He just wanted to escape from Capua. But he does rise to the occasion. He does achieve great things. The sources actually don't tell us very much about Spartacus. What we are told is that he had spent some time fighting with the auxiliaries and had deserted the army. And it was upon desertion that the Romans recaptured him and made him a slave and sent him to the gladiatorial school in Capua. The reality of a gladiator, the life that Spartacus was in, is not pleasant in the least. No man would want to be in that situation. For these gladiators that would fight to the death, again and again, they are confronted with the worst barbarity. Holding gladiatorial combats, having gladiatorial fights, is an expression of power of Rome over the other. Spartacus clearly seems to have one agenda and one agenda only, and that's to go home to Thrace. He clearly just wants his freedom. Taking away someone's physical freedom can have a devastating impact uh, on their minds. However, being able to be rooted by this sense of purpose is the way to be able to overcome that hardship of physical shackles and incarceration. Spartacus turns out to be quite a leader, and people hear his name. He immediately becomes a legend. They want to join him. They want to escape from their slavery. And for many of them, they want to take revenge against their former owners, and Spartacus is the way to do this. Now he had thousands of people who looked to him. He then showed them that they could be free. Rome vastly underestimates the dangers that they face with Spartacus. They feel that although they're sending what is essentially a militia against him, that they will be more than adequate at dealing with this upstart. Little do they know who they're dealing with. We are warriors. We're free to fight and free to die if need be the way we choose. On our terms, we can make Rome bleed. Spartacus's victory over the two legions that are sent against him initially sent shockwaves through Rome. Here it now seems that there is this unstoppable group of slaves who are rebelling, who are moving up the Italian peninsula, and who knows what they're going to do next. For Spartacus, we see a remarkable transformation. Initially, he was an individual in horrible circumstances who sought his individual freedom. But now, he's the leader of a large and growing movement. Spartacus is on his way with his army out of Italy. That was his initial trajectory. By turning back, ultimately, he's going to come into a head-on confrontation with Rome. One of the great mysteries of Spartacus is why, having come within sight of the Alps, does he turn around and decide to stay in Italy? Perhaps Spartacus understood that he was taking a risk, but he's become more than an individual. He's become the leader of an army, and he has no intention of giving up his army. And so he turns around. Ultimately, Spartacus hurled himself on the swords of the legions because he knew he was facing extermination and he and his followers. And he chose the means of his death rather than a slow one, rather than by public humiliation, rather than by crucifixion, which happened to the survivors after that battle. Those who are down will not stay down forever. People have a way of, over time, coming back, demanding equality. And what you see often are examples of what we can do if we have freedom, which becomes a great inspiration. The legacy of Spartacus is a powerful one, for it showed that one man can make a difference, one person can make a difference, 
and principles guided him, guided his followers to achieve something far greater than themselves. It also showed that there was a gap in Roman power, there were general weaknesses, and that in the long run, Rome was not invincible. Strategists, tacticians ever since have striven to copy what the barbarians achieved because it represents tactical perfection. We know this land, this terrain is in our blood.